Hi everybody and welcome back to my modeling channel. So uh, today I'm going to build an Airbus A320 from uh, the famous brand uh, Revel on a scale of 144. So uh, I will open the box and do uh, the unboxing with you and uh, then uh, we'll start building quickly. So we have uh, two sprues. Basically the first one is a uh, fuselage and a carriage and uh, a couple of antennas. So uh, the kit is a pretty old one. It's been designed about, uh, I would say, 15 to 20 years ago. And uh, as you can see, you have a lot of, uh, you have to remove a lot of plastics who uh, went away from the mold. So uh, let's get on with the second sprue. The second sprue is uh, basically the same. Well, you have two types of engine, the V2500 and the CF34. So, uh, and uh, the wings are in two parts. Same, same story over here. Uh, you have uh, a little bit of uh, plastic to remove on the edge, and, uh, and as well for the the wing, uh, the flap fairing. Basically, you have some holes, so I'm gonna have to do a lot of uh, fill up and uh, sanding. Except that uh, it's a pretty basic kit. Uh, let's go and have a look on the the highlight uh, of that model. Basically, uh, that's the. That will be uh, the AT hand livery with uh, some decals and uh, a very nice uh, instruction sheet indeed. But uh, I realize as well that uh, the clear part I'm missing on the kit. So we'll have to uh, close all the windows and uh, do uh, some more sanding on the cockpit and uh, readjust it myself. So uh, that's about it. And uh, let's have a look on the decal uh, sheet. I would say this is really the highlight of that kit because the decals are in a very good quality. Uh, they have lots of details as well uh, on uh, all the little doors and stickers and uh, things you can find on the, on the aircraft itself. So, uh, pretty basic kit, but uh, I'm sure I'm going to enjoy that and I'm going to show you uh, the livery I'm going to make for that aircraft. So for this aircraft, I will use some aftermarket decal uh, made by uh, Bryce Decal. And uh, I've been uh, using them in the past. They are very good decals, but they need a clear coating spray before applying. So I did the two Air Asia in the past, so now I have only the Thai Smile uh, remaining. So uh, Thai Smile is a low cost uh, carrier from uh, Thai Airways. And uh, that's gonna remind me some uh, previous flight I did a couple of years ago on those aircraft. So uh, I hope you're gonna enjoy the build with me and uh, let's start building. So now I will start uh, to make, uh, to cut and prepare the parts. And initially uh, I will uh, glue the wings together then uh, follow up uh, with the fuselage so as the wings were uh, a little bit too thick on this part I had to use my uh, Dremel uh, tool and uh, I had to sand uh, the thickness down to have uh, a proper wing shape then uh, afterwards, after that I managed to uh, glue the wings together and then uh, what I did I uh, finished the fuselage so for the fuselage I had to add as well some modeling paste uh, on the nose uh, some, uh, some extra weight and I had to uh, put some uh, plastic uh, plastic wires and uh, to be able to, uh, to do the cockpit window. Then I filled them up, I filled uh, the aircraft window with some glue and then uh, I put some putty inside them. While the putty is drying, uh, it's time to prepare the uh, inside of the engines. So uh, what I did, I had to paint uh, the intake of the engines, and then uh, I did the fan and the fan cone, and then after I put uh, the exhaust. So uh, what I had to do as well, I had to add some uh, some tapes to make the, the proper colors inside using uh, a tan deck, and then I had to use also some uh, some other uh, mix with uh, metallic and uh, dark uh, paint.
so it's now time to uh, send down our uh, all uh, our putting on the fuselage and the wings. And uh, as you probably know, this takes uh, quite a lot of time. And I had to go back uh, again as well on the on the windshield uh, to make it at the correct shape, as uh, the clear part was missing in that kit. time to uh, rescribe uh, all the balance lines and the structure lines on the aircraft uh, before we start painting uh, that model. So it's now time for the for the paint booth. So for that uh, I use a white and a light grey mix together from Tamiya and I cover my wings uh, with this. Then uh, after that I use uh, some purple for the tail and I use just the, the straight purple uh, from Tamiya. After that, uh, it was time to paint uh, the wheels. And uh, while the wheels uh, were slowly drying, it was also time to make the masking uh, tape for the purple tail of the uh, Thai Smile A320. And then uh, I completed uh, the white paint of the fuselage, and then after we proceed to the decal. The paint has dried, it's now time to uh, remove uh, all uh, the masking tape and uh, we'll slowly uh, start to uh, apply decals and as well uh, finishing, uh, do the aircraft finishing. That will include as well uh, the winglets that I will have to paint and also uh, it's time to put uh, the undercarriage together. final step uh, of this aircraft build, the decaling process. So for this I use my uh, duo decal. Uh, further that I have to uh, apply a clear coat uh, of varnish, otherwise those uh, decals are extremely fragile and they could break easily.
is the final result of that Rovell Airbus A320 on the 144 scale from a Thai Smile. Uh, it was an easy build, however uh, I had to do some uh, extra work to uh, reshape correctly the cockpit window as uh, they were missing in the kit. I hope you enjoyed that build with me, if you did so please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my YouTube channel and I will uh, see you soon uh, in another video. You can check out the other video on the top left corner. Thank you for watching and see you on the next build.